York City police officers, men in blue, accused of conspiring to rape a drunken 28-year-old female fashion executive in her apartment after they were called to help her. Tonight, prosecutors have released this shocking surveillance video from December of 2008, the night of the incident. They say it shows the cops going in and out of the victim's apartment over and over again that night. The two cops are on trial right now as we speak. The prosecution must prove the victim was too drunk to consent to sex. We're going to analyze that. Friends of the victim have testified she was a booze-filled wreck that night. She'd been partying. A cab driver who brought her home says she vomited in his taxi. He's the one who called 911. Uh, he said she couldn't even get out of the cab on her own. That's why he called 911. Prosecutors say one cop raped the woman while the other stood watch outside the apartment. But the suspect cops, they deny having sex with her at all. They were busted after the victim secretly taped a conversation with one of the cops after the alleged rape. Reports are he told her he wore a condom during the incident. So why would he be wearing a condom if he didn't have sex with her? Meantime, in a bizarre bit of strategy, the defense is reportedly hoping that just a couple of seconds of the video, which uh, allegedly shows the victim walking on her own in her high heels, will be their ticket to freedom, uh, that it might prove that she was uh, conscious and able to make a decision. What a nightmare. Imagine the horror of being preyed upon by somebody you were looking to for protection. Uh, Mike Brooks, what is the very latest with this very complicated case? It's very complicated. And as a former uh, cop myself, Jane, it makes me want to puke myself when I hear stories like this, people in a position of trust. But you're right, the cabbie had called law enforcement, they called 911 because this woman could not get out of his cab unassisted. These two officers, Officer Moreno and Officer Mata, uh, Moreno was the one who's uh, allegedly raped the woman and Mata acted as a lookout. They went in and out of this woman's apartment three times over a five hour period, Jane. But there, you talk about the one little snippet of video that apparently shows her walking unassisted with just uh, one of the officer's hands on her back going through a front door. But there also is a witness, Jane, inside the apartment who passed the trio that said that her high heels were scraping on the marble floor uh, as if she was drunk, almost shuffling, if you will, and that her hair was disheveled and he looked and that she looked intoxicated to her. Now, the prosecution says they have a lot of witnesses, but the defense is still going on that, well, she wasn't drunk, so if she, if, you know, she, if she wasn't drunk, then it was consensual. But it's that recording, I think, that is going to seal the case against these two cops. All right, let's take another look at this video just released by New York prosecutors. It reportedly shows the cops returning to the victim's apartment uh, several times over the course of several hours. Prosecutors say one officer stood watch while the other allegedly raped her. Both men deny any intercourse that night. A lawyer for the cops accused of rape says his client simply came back over and over again because he was comforting her because she was upset about drinking too much. Lawyers also claim, again, as you heard from Mike Brooks, that there's a snippet of video showing her walking on her own. Um, Judge Karen Mills Francis, the host of the Judge Karen's Court, and the author of Stay in Your Lane. Um, I'm trying to understand what the real, real legal issue here. This is not a regular rape case where a woman says, I told him to get away from me and he attacked me and I punched him and I said, no, no, no. This is a case of a woman who was intoxicated who wakes up the next morning naked and is crying and emotional and tells a friend, I've been raped and it was by a cop. So what is the I, consent issue here? I'm just outraged by this case that you call police for help and they help themselves to you because that's what this case is about. Basically, they're saying that they're now admitting, the defense is admitting for the first time in two years that sex went on. And why does the defense admit that? Because she's got him on the wire saying, yeah, I had sex with you, but I used a condom. So now they have to say that sex went on. And the only way to get over the fact that it was a rape is to say she consented to the sex.